Hello students, let's do algebra fundamental operations. Exercise 14a, page number 149. Question 3, add 8xy and 3xy. Since they are like terms, we can add them. So first we'll take only the numbers, 8 plus 3, put them in brackets, xy. So that will be 8 plus 3 is 11 xy. So that is our answer, 11 xy. Question 2, 2 xyz, xyz and 6 xyz. Now they're all like terms, so we can add them together. Now here let's put 1. So this is going to be 1. Again, let's add only the numbers. 2 plus 1 plus 6 xyz. Okay, now let's add the numbers. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. So that is 9xyz. Question 3. We have 2a, 3a and 4b. As you can see, 2a and 3a are like terms and 4b, that's b, so that's an unlike term. We cannot add unlike terms. So first let's add the like terms. So 2 plus 3a and 4b, so that is plus 4b. So 2 plus 3 is 5a plus 4b. So that is my answer, 5a plus 4b. I cannot add these two together, 5a and 4b, because they are unlike terms. Question 4, 3x and 2y. As you can see, they are unlike terms. I cannot add them. So my answer will simply be 3x plus 2y. Question 5. Here we have 5m, 3n and 4p. They're all unlike terms. I cannot add them. So my answer is 5m plus 3n plus 4p. That's my answer. Question 6. 6a, 3a and 9ab. So 6a and 3a are like terms. So let's add those two together. So numbers alone, 6 plus 3 a and plus 9 a b 6 plus 3 is 9 9 a plus 9 a b i cannot add these two together because they are unlike terms question 7 3 p 4 q and 9 q so i can only add the like terms that is 4 q and 9 q so i will write 3 p as it is then plus, let me add the number separately, 4 plus 9q. So what do I get? 3p plus 4 plus 9 is 13, 13q. So this is my answer. Eighth one, 5ab, 4ba. It's the same as ab because we have 1a and 1b. So these two are like terms and 6b is unlike. So let's add the like terms. Take only the numbers 5 plus 4ab plus 6b. So that becomes 9ab plus 6b. So this is my final answer. Next question 50pq, 30pq and 10pr. So we can add the like terms. These two are like terms. So 50 plus 30 p q plus 10 p r so let's add 50 plus 30 is 80 p q plus 10 p r next question minus 2 y minus y and minus 3 y they're all like terms so here let me write 1 so that is minus 1 y let's take only the numbers minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, y. Okay, now remember your integers. These are all minus signs. When signs are the same, we can put the same sign and we can add them all up. Okay, so the sign is minus. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So it is minus 6, y. So that's my answer there, minus 6, y. Let's go on to the 11th one. 
minus 3b and minus b both are like terms. I'll make this 1b. So now let's do it. Minus 3 minus 1b. So signs are the same. You can put the same sign and add them. 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 4b. Question 12. 5b minus 4b and minus 10b. Again, they're all like terms. We can put them all together. So let me give this a sign. Plus 5 minus 4 minus 10b. Okay. Now when signs are the same, we can put the same sign and add, isn't it? So let me take the two minus signs together. Minus 4 and minus 10. So minus 4 minus 10. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add 10 plus 4 is 14. So I get minus 14. So here it will be plus 5 minus 14 B. Again, here can you see the signs are different. One is plus 5 and the other is minus 14. So what is the rule when signs are different? Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 14 minus 5 is 9. So that's minus 9. So here we have got our answer as minus 9b. Go on to the next one. Here we have all like terms minus 2c, minus c and minus 5c. So let's take the numbers. Minus 2 minus c means minus 1 minus 5. They're all c. Now again the rules are the same as the ones that we follow for integers. When signs are the same, as you can see, they're all minus signs. So signs are the same, put the same sign, minus, and add. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, minus 8c. That is our answer. Moving on to the next question, evaluate. Here also, we follow the same rules. And as you can see, they're all like terms here, minus we have plus 6a, minus a, minus 5a, minus 2a. So let's take only the numbers. So 6 is by itself. So let me put plus 6, then minus 1, minus 5, minus 2a. Okay. Now let's take the numbers with the same sign. Minus 1, minus 5, minus 2. Okay, that is minus 1, minus 5, and minus 2. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So that becomes minus 8. So we are still inside the brackets. So this is plus 6 minus 8, A. Okay, so let's work out this. Plus 6 minus 8. Here the signs are different. 1 is plus, 1 is minus. So when signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 8 minus 6 is 2. So we've got minus 2a. So our answer here is minus 2a. Moving on to the next one. We have 2b minus 3b minus b and plus 4b. They're all like terms. So let's take the numbers. Plus 2 minus 3 minus 1 plus 4. Okay. And b. Now here we have plus signs and minus signs. So let's take the plus signs together. That is plus 2 and plus 4. And then we'll put the minus signs together. Minus 3 minus 1 B. Now let's add this up. Plus 2 plus 4. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add 2 plus 4 is 6. Moving on to the next part, minus 3 and minus 1. Signs are the same, put the same sign and add. 3 plus 1 is 4, minus 4b. Now here, signs are different. So put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. So our answer is plus 2b or simply 2b. Next question. 3x minus 2x minus 4x and plus 7x. So again, like terms. So let's do that. 3 minus 2 minus 4 plus 7x. Again, let's put a plus sign here. Let's add up the numbers that have a plus sign that is plus 3 and plus 7. So let's put a plus sign. 3 plus 7 is 10. 
Now take the other two numbers. They have a minus sign. Both have a minus sign. So when signs are the same, put the same sign and add 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 6x. Here signs are different. So put the sign the bigger number and subtract 10 minus 6 is 4 plus 4x. Question 4. Again, as you can see, they're all like terms. So let's take only the numbers plus 5 plus 2 minus 6 plus there is no number that's understood. It is 1 a b. Now let's work out all the numbers with the plus sign. So plus 5 plus 2 plus 1. Let's add them all together. So when signs are the same, we put the same sign. So let's put first plus and add them up. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8 minus 6 AB. When signs are different, as you can see, 1 is plus, 1 is minus. Put the sign of the bigger number, that is plus and minus. 8 minus 6 is 2, 2 AB. So the answer is plus 2 or just 2 AB. Question 5. Here we have 8x and we have 5y. And again, we have minus 3x and plus 10y. So here, let's take the x separately. We'll group them separately. So that becomes 8x minus 3x. And plus, we'll take y separately, minus 5y plus 10y. Okay, now let's work this out. So this is 8 minus 3x plus minus 5 plus 10y. 8, okay, 8 minus 3 is 5x and when we move to the other side, signs are different. So put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5, so that becomes 5y. So our final answer is 5x plus 5y. We cannot add these together because they are unlike terms. Question 5. Evaluate. So here also we follow the same rules. So let's take only the numbers minus 7, plus 9, plus 2, minus 2x. Now let's group the plus numbers together. Let's do that separately. Plus 9, plus 2. So when signs are the same, put the same sign. So that becomes plus and add 9 plus 2 is 11. Now let's take the other two numbers, which is minus 7 and minus 2. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add 7 plus 2 is 9. So here we get minus 9x. Now 11 minus 9 is 2, 2x. So that's our answer. Next one. 5ab minus 2ab minus 8ab plus 6ab. Again, we have like terms, plus 5, minus 2, minus 8, plus 6, A, B. So take the numbers with the plus sign first. Plus 5 and plus 6. So let's do that. So 5 plus 6 is 11. So that we know is 11. Now let's work out these two. Minus 2, minus 8. Minus 2, minus 8. Signs are the same, put the same sign and add 2 plus 8 is 10. So we've got minus 10. So minus 10 a b. So here 11 minus 10 is 1. So the answer is 1 a b or simply a b. Question 3. Let's put all these together. As you can see, they are like terms. So minus 8 minus 3 plus 12 plus 13, minus 6. All this is A. So let's group all the plus signs together. So we have plus 12 and plus 13. So let's do that. 12 plus 13. Signs are the same. So we can put the same sign and add. 12 plus 13 is 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 plus 1 is 2. 25. So we've got plus 25, which we can write here. Plus 25. Now let's take all the minus signs. So we have minus 8. Let's write it down. Minus 8 
then we have minus 3 and we have minus 6 minus 6 so we'll put them all together then signs are the same put the same sign and add 8 plus 3 is 11 11 plus 6 is 17 so we've got minus 17 now plus 25 minus 17 signs are different so we put the sign of the bigger number that is plus and subtract so let's subtract 25 and 17 minus 15 minus 7 is 8 so here our answer is 8a question 4 19 ABC minus 11 ABC minus 12 ABC plus 14 ABC. So they're all like terms. Let's add it up. 19, we'll give it a sign. Plus 19 minus 11 minus 12 plus 14 ABC. So again, let's take all the plus signs together. That is plus 19 plus 14. So let's add it up. Plus 19 plus 14 means addition 19 plus 14 plus 9 plus 4 is 13 carry 1 1 2 3 33 so we finished the addition we've got plus 33 now let's take the minus signs we have minus 11 minus 12 minus 11 minus 12 when signs are the same put the same sign and add so let's add 11 and 12 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, so minus 23. So let's write that down, 33 here, minus 23, A, B, C. 33 and 23 signs are different, so we put the sign of the bigger number and we subtract. How much is 33 minus 23? It's 10, A, B, C. So, our final answer for question 4 is 10 ABC. So, children, we'll stop with that for now. In our next video, we'll continue with the other questions. Thank you.